The 10th anniversary of the very day Massachusetts became the first state in the country to allow same-sex marriage. The legal strategy used here has since been copied around the country. New at 6, New Center 5's Janet Wu is live at Cambridge City Hall, where a celebration is being held right now. Janet? So, Bob, if it looks like I'm standing at a wedding, I am in, in a way. There are a couple of, probably a well over a dozen couples that are going to be renewing their vows here at Cambridge City Hall within the next hour or so. But for everyone that's here, this really is a time to pause, to reflect, and to remember. <laughs> Julie and Hillary Goodridge were the original plaintiffs in the groundbreaking case. While the couple has since divorced, together they're raising a daughter off to college this year, and their humor and pride over their defining mark on history remain strong. It's got to be, right? I mean, I'm a has-been now. That's what I joke, I joke about that with Hillary. What made the Massachusetts ruling so important is the political strategy developed on Beacon Hill, killing four DOMA bills, which had passed in more than two dozen other states. The opposition considered Massachusetts to be sort of ground zero. They thought if they could kill marriage here, they could kill it anywhere in the nation. So they were determined to win. And we knew that if, died he, that if marriage died here, it might not happen anywhere else. Their winning strategy, copied in every other state that has since legalized gay marriage, brought together business, labor, and parental groups, but most importantly, the religious community. They sort of made it gays versus God. And this, during this fight, we got enough religious folks on our side that it became one religion versus another religion. And legislators said, I don't want to get between two religions. I don't want to decide whose God is right. But for many couples, gay marriage has dramatically altered not just their benefits, their rights, or their place in society. It has given them peace. It made us more visible to the rest of the world. And you need to be out and visible. And it needs to be safe for you to do that. So for earlier today, I spoke with former Chief Justice Margaret Marshall. She said when she wrote this decision, she authored this, this decision 10 years ago, she really did not anticipate the reverberations her words would have, everything from people calling for her impeachment as well as folks who come up to her still today saying that they used her words in their marriage vows, and it's not just same-sex couples.